So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another Swift UI video in which we're going to discuss about text view. Now text view is pretty simple self-explanatory. It's used to display a block of text wherever you want. It's kind of a label if you have worked with Android or yeah on other platform it's usually something like that only. So with Swift UI we have a very declarative way of creating this text view and its associated properties. So if you want to go ahead just create a text view here and press command and click on this text view you're going to get this nice little pop-up kind of thing just go to inspect and you're going to see a lot of available properties right here which are available right so you can just go ahead and customize some font maybe if you want to make it larger you can give it an ultra thin weight um let's go with the red color and alignment could be center and there's this option called line limit which i'm going to discuss now so this is what you get on um, generated automatically by xcode so what this line limit is well let's see let's say if we have a very large text input here then what should eventually happen right that's the question so dot line limit what it does is it defines how many lines of input how many lines of text do you want to appear on the screen before it gets trimmed you can see we have a line limit of three so we got three lines and eventually it got cut off using ellipses so if i change this to line limit two you're going to see we drop down to two lines and there we go if you want to have uh, if you want all the text to be displayed all the time you can pass line limit of nil and this pretty much just means that all the text would be displayed no matter how small or large it is we have another option called truncate truncate truncation mode there we go and what you have to do is pretty much just say right here if you want to truncate from the middle and uh, let me just give it a line limit of two first so that we could see so if we go and give truncation mode of middle what you see is that it tries to fit the starting and the ending of the text and it cuts somewhere in the middle so it's super convenient if you have useful information at the starting and at the end but not so useful in the middle then we have dot head as well which is pretty much what you would expect it truncates at the very starting of the particular line but keeps the rest of the information and tail is what you eventually get as a default option right so if you even if you don't use it you're gonna get tail there are a lot of options with text view you can just see them by pressing control space right here and xcode's auto complete or intelligence should show you stuff like that right so i'm not sure if it's correctly showing views related to text but anyway so you can also set like background of a view by just passing in the color and eventually in swift ui what's the deal is that you can pretty much specify the background not only as a color but as a view itself right so that's that's something and we have a little bit of conflict here so i'm just going to change the text color to white and background to red so that it's at least visible so you see now we get a nice little text view with a red box in it so yeah that's pretty much the i would say the hello world with the text view and that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one